Good morning, y'all. What I got going now is I've already got my dinner going for tonight. Um, I got some barbecue chicken going in the crock pot, but I'm going to make Amish onion patties. I like them. Think of onion rings, only in a little bit different of a way. So in my bowl here, I have three quarter cup of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, please get aluminum free, three quarter teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of cornmeal, three quarter cup of milk, and two medium onions finely chopped. This recipe also wanted you to add a tablespoon of sugar, but since I'm not doing sugar so much now for the last three weeks or so, I added a couple teaspoons of honey to my mix. So what you're going to do is you put the dry ingredients all in together and um, then you, you know if you want to use the sugar of course throw it in there. Um, then when I added the milk I warmed it up just a little bit, put the honey in it, dissolved it and um, you know add the, add the milk, honey if you use it and then toss in your onions and then what we're going to do is just basically drop this by gobs into coconut oil and I'm only going to do one because my dinner's not yet for several hours but hey I can have one for lunch too it all works out really well so you're going to put it in um, hot oil and you're going to fry until they're golden brown so I've got my skillet on my coconut oil in it's heating very slowly so let me see if I can raise this up just a little bit all right, so I'm going to turn my skillet up. It is starting to get warm, but it's not quite there yet. Um, as soon as this warms up, like I said, where did I put my spoon? You know, it's just one of those days. I have those sometimes. Here we go. So I'm going to wait for this to get hot. I kind of check it by putting cold water on my fingers. And if it bubbles back up, it's ready. And if not, then I just patiently wait. Um, I know this isn't the healthiest of all things that are out there. However, I do fried food so very rarely uh, that honestly, I'm not going to stress out about doing them, you know, once a month, once every two months, whatever the case may be there. I'm just not going to stress out about it. So... Let me take a pause and I'll come back when the skillet is hot enough. Okay, skillet is starting to bubble a little bit when I put the water in there, so let's try it because sometimes I miss the first one of things up. It happens. You're just going to get you, you know, a glob. I don't know what to call that. And you're just going to stick it in there. And we're just going to wait for it to get golden brown. I'm going to drain this, of course, and um, it doesn't take that long for them to happen. It's really just like eating an onion ring, only I have more onions in it. Can't be anything wrong with that. So let me grab something here to be able to drain it when it comes off. Sorry y'all, I am just not organized yet. Just really not. Rough a couple weeks. Let's check and see how our progress is going. Starting to brown up really nicely under there. I'm going to give it another minute or so. And um, then we'll flip it. I think this is going to go perfect with my chicken though. I'll be back when I'm ready to turn it over. Okay, I got it turned over. Looks beautiful. Uh, you want to make sure you get your onions pretty close to dice the same size so that they all cook the same. That's the whole point about that. And um, other than that, we're going to let the other side brown off. Just takes about probably two to three minutes per side if that. So I will be back when this is done. 
So here we are. It's done. Nice and crispy. It's still really hot. I am still going to let it drain for just a little bit longer. But these are very good. I hope you all will give them a try. Customize them to how you want. Y'all have a good day. Have a good weekend. God bless you.